Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see how we can pass parameters to a function. Okay, in this tutorial, for the demonstration purpose, we're gonna create a function called add and uh, we're gonna make this add function to take two parameters. So, first, we're gonna do this function prototyping. It's gonna be void that because you know our add function is not gonna return any value, then add that's the function name. Then uh, <coughs> within this parenthesis, we're gonna write uh, the parameters one int a and another one is uh, int b. Uh, when we do this function prototyping, we have to specify how many parameters our function is gonna take. And while uh, declaring this function, we have to follow the same rule. So, another thing is here uh, while uh, doing this function prototyping, you don't have to write these variable names here. Uh, you can just only write the data type here. That's enough. Uh, this just uh, informs the compiler that um, our add up function is going to take two parameters, and these two parameters are of type integers. So, next, uh, after this main function, we're going to define our add up function. It's going to be void add, then uh, we need to specify the two parameters here. It's going to be int then the variable name is going to be a then a comma and then int then the variable b so now inside this function we're gonna print the result of this it's going to be printf then we're going to write uh, the result of the addition is then it's going to be percentage d then okay what we're going to do is uh, the result of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d that means here we're going to declare another variable to you know store the result of this a plus b so we're going to create a variable it's going to be of type integer and uh, we're going to assign it uh, with a value equal to a plus b so uh, whatever the input parameters which comes here that will be added and that result will be stored here and uh, then we're just gonna print that so first we have to use the variable a that's because we're gonna we're gonna say the result of a or the value uh, whatever we pass here for example if you are passing 10 and 20 then our printer will print the result of 10 and 20 is 30 so we get we have to refer this a first then b then result the next thing we have to do is we have to call this add a function in our main method so we're gonna call this add a function with the parameters let's say 10 and 20 so save it control f9 to compile and run it so as you can see here the result of 10 and 20 is 30 so let me explain how this works when our main function starts execution you know first we we're gonna call this add function with the values 10 and 20 so this 10 will be copied to the variable a and this 20 will be copied to the variable b here inside this add function we have declared a variable called result and we are storing this 10 plus 20 that's gonna be 30 in this result variable then we're just printing out the values of a b and result so that's why we're getting the result of 10 and 20 is 30 so close it another thing I want to explain is here you can use you no know, instead of this whole number you can use a variable also so I'm gonna create two variable called uh, int num1 and I'm gonna assign it with a value of 10 100 then I'm gonna create another variable of type integer and I'm gonna call it uh, num2 then I'm gonna assign it with a value of 200 here instead of this 10 and 20 I'm gonna assign this num1 and num2 it's gonna be num1 comma num2 so save it Control F9 to compile and run it. So as you can see here, the result of 100 and 200 is 300. You know, and this time we have just um, stored that values in a variable and th then we use that variable name 
as a parameter to this add a function so this is it this is about uh, passing uh, data to a function and see so thank you for watching